Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a video going over, I guess, what I carried today. And I was trying to think of a good reason, because like I just did a October pocket dump, I think, or EDC uh, update. So we'll just call this a pocket dump. But I was trying to think of a good reason, like, oh, it's the monthly update, or, <laughs> you know, I can't think of, I just want to show you what I carry today, because I'm kind of excited about what I carry today. All right? Judge me. Okay, and the reason is because it all started with this guy. This guy showed up, and it's just really cool. It's a Mackie Studios CP3, and I did put the tape on it. Usually I hate the tape, but um, apparently Zerkutai on Zerkutai is not that smooth. So um, the tape really does help, so... I gotta say, I'm going with the tape this time. Uh, but it's really nice. It's got these dimples on it. Uh, of course, it's Zerku tie. When I first got it, I was like, no, I'm pretty sure that's Moku tie or Timascus. I was like, this looks a lot like this Get Good Screw in Timascus or Titanium Damascus. But you can see, oh, you can't see because I put the tape on. But there's like the gray in there. And that's kind of your hint that it's uh, Zerk and Zerkutai. I don't know. I'll believe them. I'll believe them. This is number seven of eight. There's only eight of these, which is pretty cool, uh, in Zerkutai. And then they made like 11 or so in two different kinds of Mokutai. I think there might have been a, a small batch of Mokume or something. Uh, I'm not a big Mokume guy, but... I was really excited to get this. It's stupid lightweight, which I like, compared to the uh, Zerk one. That I This has been my favorite for the longest. I've sold all the other ones because it just has really good snap to it. And you don't need the tape on Zerk ones because, well, I guess it's Zerk on steel, not on Zerk. So it, I don't know, it works. I did try swapping the plates out on these. So, like, I took this apart, and I took this apart, right? And I put this plate in here. And that works really well. Feels great. Looks pretty good. Get that little hint of Zerky tie there. And then I took this plate, which is steel, and I put that here. And it's much smoother on that. I also have the uh, the tape. But then it looks pretty good, too. So they both kind of work. But I don't know. I kind of just like them the way they were. So I put them back. I feel like this one has a good snap to it. Not quite as snappy. But it's still really good. Um, and otherwise, they're the same, I assume. It's just lighter, which is noticeable. I like it. Anyway... So I carried this, which is what kind of started it. And um, then I was like, you know, I got to get my purples and my blues on today. Um, so I grabbed my NAFSCO Lander, which I have these purple scales on. And I actually have two of these. So I have one <laughs> in blue. And I'm really liking these. Uh, ironically, I actually had a pretty cool phone call today with Ben. Um... I didn't really know Ben until today, <laughs> and I talked to him on the phone. It was awesome. Um, so shout out to Ben if he sees this. Um, but check that out. I'm just digging the lander. I don't know. Uh, there's just something about it. I mean, I, I know it's a $60 knife in D2, and normally neither of those things are uh, for me, right? Um, not that I, I don't respect budget knives and don't have a few, but... I normally don't fall in love with them. Um, 
and I really have fallen in love with these. And I've actually talked to Carbidize about making me some fat carbon scales for the lander. So I might get a few sets and maybe just uh, sell off a few as well. See if he can make extras. Because uh, he's not really doing like one-on-one -on -one sales on Instagram right now anymore. He's just too busy, I think. Um, you know, don't hold me to that. I don't speak for the uh, forum. But I'm going to try to get a few. That way, if anybody else wants a set, I can just sell them or whatever. Um, but, yeah, love this. So I carried the, um, they both match, but I carried the purple one today. So I had the lander today. Then, of course, I have my uh, Zerk CWF Micro Arcadian with the Chad Nichols Zerkutai clip which you know it they're both zirkutai and that's kind of what made me think this isn't zirkutai um but it's just made by different people different zirkutai i do prefer this kind of zirkutai to that i don't like really like how that oop, and this look this kind of is these are kind of the reason why i i never got into zirkutai or mokutai or anything because i always thought everything looked like this you know I didn't realize that you could get stuff that looked like this. Um, put that here. I won't get it to sit, so it's not going to matter. Um, you know, this is the same stuff, essentially. You know, I didn't know that you could get stuff that looked like that. This is, I believe, Mokutai. Um... Now, that backspacer could be Zerkutai. I'm not sure. And then this kit might be Mokutai. I don't know. I don't remember. But you can tell they look a little different, right? And I prefer this style to it. Just real quick. Got to do it. <laughs> um, and then, of course, this is Zerkutai, just with no color in it. Which is my preferred. I love it when it's just black gray. So, anyway, moving on. Um, I had the flashlight. Really wish. Ah, look at that. Uh, of course, always have my little medication uh, pill case right there. That's titanium. Got that on uh, Etsy. And then I was rocking my Saga today because I work at this desk and uh, I had a pen. So <laughs> went with the blue pen to match everything. Love the Saga. I actually just ordered a tactile turn pen. They had a seasonal release that looked awesome. It was like this speckled looking one. And they have, I, didn't, I found out they have a slim line now. And that was always the thing that bugged me about tactile was they felt thick. That's what I love about the Saga and some other pens like the Parker Jotter. Um, they're not thick. And so they have a slim side click. So I got the side click short in that seasonal release. But this has got that beautiful blue just to match along with uh, the other stuff here. Um, and then I have two more knives. So today I dropped this in the pocket. This is my Jack Wolf Knives Sharpshooter Jack. And uh, I haven't carried this one in a while. Um, this was the first release from Jack Wolf Knives, so um, it's been five or six months at this point, and I just, you know, I carry whatever I, you know, I carry the newest one for every month, and so it ends up where the older ones don't get carried as much. So this week I've been trying to carry the older ones, so I started out with carrying the Midnight, and then I carried the Laidback Jack yesterday, and then today I carried the Sharpshooter. And I did have to cut some stuff with this today. I cut out um, a little thing for my daughter. Uh, we got the bark box, and they had this fake knife you could cut out of cardboard, and I cut it out with this, which is pretty cool. Cut a knife out with a knife, you know. Posted that on Instagram, of course. And I got this beautiful Northwoods Leatherworks slip. Dude's an absolute genius. So the blue and the purple continues. And then lastly, I've been carrying this every single day. Since I got it at Blade West. And uh, this is my Chickadee. Um, Jacob creates Chickadee. Just a little guy. And uh, let's see if I can squeeze everything in here. Come on, baby. I can do it. You can do it, Kev. You can do it. You can do it. Um, 
just absolutely beautiful. Magna cut, hand ground blade, beautiful belt satin grind. Very small knife, but fits the hand well. You can do everything I need to do. This does really well. Nice sheath. What I really like about it is the Kydex sheath is minimal. And it just disappears on my belt, guys. This is the smallest fixed blade I've been able to find. It just disappears, um, which I absolutely love. So that's the chickadee. So this is what I was rocking today, guys. And, uh, yeah, I left my house for, like, 20 minutes at one point. <laughs> but I like to carry gear, guys. What do you want me to do? Listen to that walk and talk. Snap. Crackle. Pop. Snap. Crackle. Pop. Beautiful knife. I love that dark matter blue. Just a freaking beauty. And it's just ergonomic in the hand. So good. Check this move out. Can he do it? Can he do it? Is he a man? Oh, God. I'm going to cut myself. Oh, he did it. Uh, the reason I really don't do that a lot, other than the fact that I'm a pussy, is uh, my hand when I do that, because I'm squeezing so hard to try to get this thumb to work, it cramps up. So I have to, like, I have to, like, let go and, like, stretch my hand out because it's literally, like, cramping. So I like to just do this. It seems to just work a little bit easier. Um, but, yeah, this is my stuff that I carry today. So I had a $58 knife or whatever it is, $59 knife. Um, and I carried that with an $1,100 flashlight. And I loved every second of that combo. Throw in my $350 toy. <laughs> and my $300 pen. Like, I'm just a dumbass. I don't even want to count how much money I carry around sometimes, honestly. Like, what if I got lost? You know, I'd just, I'd be down a good chunk. You know, if we just do quick math, we're at like... Right here, we're at like 1500 1800 right? This guy puts us around two grand. Add this, you're looking at 23 you know, so like 24 with the, yeah, with everything. Probably like 2400 bones I was carrying around today. Just in my fucking pockets. <laughs> like, idiot. This hobby is so funny, guys. It really is. Um, I don't get it either. So you don't have to tell me I'm crazy in the comments. I know I'm crazy. And no, I don't think I'm cool either. I I just fell down this rabbit hole. And I'm, you know, and I'm deep down it. I don't know what to do, you know. I love every second of it, though. You see the action on that? There's no play. It is rock solid. And look at that. Soup. Dead centered. Absolutely just sick. Here, check out my other one. Now, I did take these both apart and kind of, you know, clean them up and everything. But I didn't, like, fuck with them. I just, you know, cleaned them. I mean, this one. There you go. Drop smooth shake this one a little bit snappier and honestly has a little bit better closing action but i wouldn't complain about either of these man this one is really good though and i'll be honest i love that purple this one honestly can be too snappy sometimes though like it you know but i think it's breaking in now at first i was like ow Shit almost hurts. It's how strong it is. Love it. Zoop. I don't know. You guys tell me, what, what the hell are you carrying around? What do you enjoy the most? Do you, uh, do you ever get something like me? Do you ever get something like this and then want to match everything to it? Because that's what happened here. I got this, and then I was like, ooh, I should carry this purple knife. I got this. I always carry this now, but I got this, and then I'm going to grab the blue jack wolf right and then i always carry this so you know i really just grabbed 
this and this and matched it up, right? Um, I pretty much always use that pen. I have one other premium pen that's on my bag. And if I go somewhere, that one comes with me instead of bringing that. Um, but we'll see what happens with that tactile one. Look at that. Dead nuts down the center. What about this one? Dead nuts down the center. Is there any play? Maybe a little, but it's not like... Yeah, it's not like a rattly play. I think it's just a lock bar moving around this one. A little less. No rattle or anything. You don't feel it right there. That's when it bugs me. Is when you feel it in the detent. When you're going to flick or flip or whatever and you feel that movement that's when it bugs the shit out of me and i would show you an example but i don't have any because i will not allow that <laughs> i will not allow that in my house okay all right i'm gonna shut up um yeah check out the cp3s guys um mackie is no no longer with mackie it's weird so he is now zero one i think it is or zero a one or something and um, he has a, a new slider coming out, and I believe Urban EDC is dropping some. For me, it's tomorrow, the 19th of October. So if this video comes out uh, well after that, if they're sold out, I'm sorry. But go check it out. They have the wave pattern and everything, and they're in steel, so they're going to be much more affordable. Probably make like 100 bucks, 150 bucks. Um, you can use my link. It's down in the description, of course. But I'll try to link all this stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to shut up. I love you guys. I uh, hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, as always. And uh, I will catch you later.